All right, I'm going to play a tune that is part of the easy but awesome compilation. So when you're learning how to play the banjo or any instrument, it's super important to have tunes and songs to play that are appropriate for your skill level. So that number one, you don't develop bad habits and techniques by stretching to play material that is too far from where you currently are. And number two, so that you can really focus in on developing that foundation of solid rhythm and timing, which is really the secret sauce of great banjo, uh, really of great music in general. And that is really in the, in the beginning, the middle, um, that is really where your focus should be on trying to improve and progress rather than trying to keep tackling arrangements that are more technically demanding. And the truth is, you do not have to play fancy or technically challenging stuff to sound fantastic. Um, many of the most iconic banjo players that everyone admires and wants to sound like played their tunes fairly simply, um, but they had rock solid timing and rhythm. And all you really need is a good tune, a good melody, uh, play it with solid rhythm and timing, and you'll be playing fantastic music. So by having a large selection of material like this at your disposal um, when you're learning, not only will it allow you to make more great music faster, but it'll actually accelerate your development as a musician because you'll be focusing on the right sorts of things. So anyhow, here's one selection from the Easy But Awesome compilation. It's one of my favorite um, melodies, uh, Bonaparte Crossing the Rhine. Um, there, you, there's a link in the description if you want to uh, grab the tab, just click on that. Also, I should mention that all of the arrangements that are part of the Easy But Awesome compilation are either Brainjo level one or two, and there's a link in the description as well if you want to learn more about the Brainjo level system.